Hi everyone. In this video, as the rules in the cost contest state, I should make a presentation of the project as far as what works and what doesn't. Well, OSRC is a bit different from a project that would start uh, from scratch uh, when the contest started because I have been working on this uh, system for over three years now. So I will show you some uh, basically an overall uh, overview of uh, all the functions that I already developed and what works. And uh, you can judge for yourself. Uh, also, don't forget that um, in detailed descriptions of uh, what actually works and what doesn't. Well, there is nothing that doesn't work. There are a lot of accessories which I developed and I didn't finish because there was no need for it initially. I did a lot of upgrades and a lot of other add-ons for the system. But as far as the system goes, uh, everything works. The menus, the graphical interface. I actually flew a plane with this remote control. If you, if you check out the videos on YouTube, I didn't show much because it was the beginning of the project and uh, well, you know, it's a low budget uh, development, so uh, what I did show the system that it worked. Of course, as you can understand, I do all this myself, so there was a limited time for testing. But um, the system works with uh, all available RC modules. It has all of the functions which uh, a normal, uh, normal remote control has. I want to concentrate first on the fact that it's... Um, a solid and uh, proven remote control system by, by itself that it can reliably control expensive aircrafts and uh, do all the features plus everything else that OSRC will be able to do and what it does already and then uh, build upon that because there is a, a framework which I basically designed and uh, made for the system uh, from the start so that it is modular and that it has the ability to intercommunicate with other functions and other uh, modules and hardware. Okay, so um, this is the main unit. Uh, this is what everything else is uh, made for. Uh, as a framework, this entire system is modular, meaning that um, this module uh, and uh, this module shoulder switches and uh, also very importantly um, RF modules from other RC transmitters as well as the OSRC stuff can all be interconnected into the same system uh, some of the modules have the headers on them uh, some connect in different ways but uh, the framework is there and uh, not just the enclosure things uh, the, the boards uh, the, the wiring, the signals, additional signals which may be required, everything. Um, and uh, as you can see here, I mean, I describe this on, on the website uh, a lot, but uh, um, uh, let me show you. Uh, we have the menus here. I mean, let me zoom it in for you. We have, I mean, a lot of stuff which I developed for, for the RC uh, system itself. I mean, besides the, the default things which you will find, you can go into any, any of these menus and uh, do a lot of different functions with them. Biggest modules are the uh, FPVC uh, modules, which are the basic. Basically, it has a video transmitter inside and some other goodies which I describe in the specs. And this is the full-blown uh, Linux system. Uh, well, yeah, you could use a smartphone, but there are some things which you can't get on a smartphone, like uh, video in and uh, RF, and also you can work this remotely from the system. You can take it out and it has internal battery and a lot of other functions which are very useful for filming and uh, other aspects. Uh, I, I will open this one for you because I, I was doing some experiments with it. Oops, the buttons fell down, that's okay. So you can see here. I mean, all the boards are already tested and uh, I already loaded Linux on this one. So hopefully this small uh, uh, video was enough to, uh, to comply with the regulations of the semi-finalists of the contest. And uh, once again, I thank everyone for their support and uh, cross your fingers that the project actually wins this thing and uh, gets to be produced. Thank you once again. Bye.